Now let's talk about lighting your video. Now, uh, the best way to light your video is to use lots of expensive lights, but assuming you don't have lots of expensive lights, let's use the sun. Um, because the sun is a nice, powerful light, and it, it's usually there. Uh, going back to Renaissance painters, um, in particular one painter that's particularly good to look at for this is Vermeer. Vermeer often puts his subjects next to a window. What painters used to look for back in those days was a window that had northern light. I mean, if you're in the northern hemisphere, you're looking at the what was the equivalent of the south side for us, a, a south-facing window for people in the southern hemisphere. The light that's coming in through a window like that is not direct light, it's more ambient light, and it gives you a nice, soft, gentle light as opposed to the hard light of direct sunlight. So obviously you could also use a, an east-facing window in the afternoon when the sun's behind. The advantage of a, for a painter was that if you had a, a northern-facing window in the northern hemisphere, you'd always get ambient light through it. And the same for us with a southern-facing window. So you don't want direct hard sunlight, you want diffuse light, which gives you a, a, a gentle light, which illuminates nicely. Here I'm sitting at a table, I've got a nice blank wall behind me, but the light that I'm using, which is just an ordinary household light just up here, is very hard and it's, it's, it's got some rather unflattering shadows. This is okay, but it can be better, and it can be better using a very simple tool. Um, this is a staple of all professional shoots, and that's a reflector. Now a reflector is basically a white surface, and the professional ones are more convenient to use, but I'm going to start with a, um, an old planner which is just basically um, a large white sheet of paper and put that there. Now the effect that you should be seeing is it's fairly subtle but those dark shadows are just lightened just a little bit and it's enough to, to take a little bit of the edge off it and it's such a very simple technique to use. The stronger the light the more the light will bounce back up. Now that's okay but that's not a hugely strong light so I've got another um, device here which I spent the outlandish amount of money of four dollars on and this is a um, it's a thing for um, that goes in your car windshield so your car doesn't get too hot in summer like we never like we ever need these in Dunedin um, and now you should be seeing quite a lot more light bouncing back up and filling the shadows giving a more diffuse light on my face and it should be in, in general um, more flattering cameras work better when there's more light. The more light there is, the better the camera functions in simple terms. Uh, professional cameras work better in worse light, but, the, uh, but cheaper cameras uh, and even professional cameras will work better if there's more light around. They'll give you a, a sharper image, there'll be less video noise, the whole image will look, simply look better. So get lots of light, get as much light as you can. Um, if you're shooting at night, you're going to need to get a lot of light to get a decent image. If you're shooting in the daytime, even the, the general spill light from, from windows and so forth will help to, to bring up the general light levels. So get as much light as you can.